If you are a beginner or intermediate at Crash Bash speedrunning, then you need to master the ways of four-way pong. In this video, we are going to cover the general techniques and strategy, as well as all specific level techniques and information that you need to know to become a true expert of ballistic style levels. This is Logic PQ. Please don't forget to subscribe, and here's the video. When playing ballistic style levels, you should never let go of the L1 or R1 buttons. This keeps your cart moving quickly, allowing you to save otherwise impossible ball barrages on your goal. Don't panic if using L1 or R1 causes you to play worse at first. Eventually, you will get used to the faster speed and be better for it. Another important fundamental of ballistics levels is understanding the effective range of your kick, as well as having controlled use of said kick. The main goals are to know when your kick will hit or miss balls, and to use this mastery of the kick to precisely choose desired angles to launch balls at. When overwhelmed, it can be easy to panic and mash the kick button. However, there is a built-in downside to this, which causes you to lose your kick for a period of time if you did not hit a ball with your prior kick. On top of that, the period of time it takes for your kick to come back is longer if you had used it frequently before losing it. Essentially, more frequent kicks equals more recharge time. Thus, kicking accurately and efficiently is an extremely important skill to learn. One good method for getting used to the kick is to plan out angles to shoot a ball at as it approaches you. Then try and kick the ball at the desired angle. If you are able to accurately time the kick and hit the angle, you are well on your way to kick mastery. In order to become a more controlled kick user, it is best to boot up Endalism and discipline yourself so you never panic spam kick. Focus on controlled kick use and eventually you will be able to apply this focus in a real run. Ball awareness is the final and most important fundamental of ballistics levels. Ball awareness is simply your ability to not only perceive where all the balls on the stage are, but also the trajectory they are heading, and the likely ways AI may influence their trajectory. One way to practice this is to try and play a simple round of Crash Ball, where you look at your own cart's movement and placement as little as possible, while instead focusing on the balls on the screen. A strategy that helps make this practice easier is trying to center your cart in your goal when possible to more easily react. Other general strategies for ballistics levels are pause strats, evenly scoring on AI, taunting, and behind the back shots. Pause strats are simply utilizing the pause button in order to give you more time to properly react to incoming balls. This strategy can be used in a pinch when you are about to lose, but costs a lot of time. I highly recommend not getting too used to pause strats as they can become a crutch. When possible, it is better to try and keep the AI scores equal, rather than finishing off one AI quickly. This is where getting better at a specific shot angle comes in handy. To go with this idea, it is usually better to score on side AI when possible because of the higher difficulty of hitting shots on the sides rather than straight on. Also, if you have an opportunity to easily score several points on the same AI, do it even if it causes the AI points to be lopsided. It is still faster to score free shots when handed to the player. Just remember to try and even this out as the round progresses. Two other simple strategies in ballistics levels are taunting and behind the back shots. Every time you taunt, it changes the AI randomness a little bit. Thus, it can be useful to taunt and try to get an AI to not block a ball coming at it. This RNG manipulation is far from guaranteed, but can be somewhat useful. If you can't get to a ball in time and it is going into your goal, then you can ram your cart into the ball without kicking and the ball can go around the backside of your cart and still be saved. This technique is only helpful as a last ditch attempt to save a ball that would otherwise go into your goal. This can also work by mashing a ball into the corner of your goal. The simplest ballistics level still has some strategies that will help you go fast. One thing to know is that a new ball is added to the arena at these times after the match has started. If you reach 5 balls on the stage at once, then your crash ball round is slow. When hitting balls at your opponent, it is best to aim for these parts of the goal, as they are less likely to be blocked. 
This is true for all stages, not just Crash Ball. Lastly, when a ball spawns on your side of the stage, you are able to kick it if it spawns at the correct angle. This allows the ball to be scored sooner and thus respawn sooner, speeding up the round. The most complicated ballistics level adds a magnet mechanic that allows all players to hold onto and shoot balls at specific angles very quickly. When a ball comes into contact with the magnet, it will get stuck at that angle. Because the magnetic shooter is so fast, it is even more important to remain centered and have strong ball awareness. Taunting is especially important on this stage, as it can sometimes get the AI to release magnetized balls sooner. Spawn kicking balls is even more important in beach ball as well. If you get good enough, you can score several times on an AI rapidly. If the AI is positioned close to your goal, then aim up here. If the AI is positioned far from your goal, then aim here to score on your side AIs. Beach ball deserves a lot of practice. You should pretty much always be moving and reacting in beach ball after the second ball spawns. Embolism is the easiest ballistic stage to fail in a real run. Understanding how the power-up functions will make winning in embolism much easier. If the power-up spawns on your left-hand side, the next time it spawns on your side, it will spawn on the right-hand side, and so on and so forth. This doesn't carry over between rounds, however. The power-up also can spawn at the top of the screen instead. This doesn't ever change which side the power-up will spawn when it spawns on your side again. Lastly, if the power-up spawns three times in a row on either the top or the bottom, then it is guaranteed to spawn on the opposite side the next time. The power-up doesn't guarantee protection from balls. You may still need to kick especially fast-moving balls to prevent them from going into your goal. This also means that it is possible to kick balls past AIs using the power-up. Whenever Engine spawns, he chooses one of eight possible angles to shoot at, and then he will shoot at that angle ev at every single AI around the circle. Then he will choose a new 1 and 8 angle and stick to it around the circle. This means you can predict Engine's angle as long as Engine doesn't shoot at you first. Embolism is difficult and definitely worth practicing in order to prevent failure. However, getting good times on embolism is largely due to good luck. So as long as you are consistently getting sub-6 times, then you are doing well. Skyballs is an unusual variation on the ballistics levels that trades a square stage for a round one that occasionally tilts to one corner. Weirdly enough, the tilt to each corner only happens in these three corners, never towards this corner. Also, tilting does have a pattern. The place at which the pattern starts is dependent on when the player entered the level. From there, the pattern can be identified. The round stage often makes it difficult to save balls while also making it easier to hit balls through the barrier. On top of this, balls can sometimes drop directly into your goal while the stage is tilting. All in all, this stage has a lot of jank. To fight all of the problems with this stage, it is a good idea to take a proactive approach. React to balls heading to your goal early, and kick to prevent balls from getting too close to your goal. Being fast at skyballs is largely RNG, but not allowing balls into your goal gives you a chance at being fast. Because the right side AI doesn't get tilted toward as much, it is a good idea to target them more often. Overall though, skyballs is easier than embolism. Listed below are good times to shoot for in each ballistic style level. I would learn crash ball and embolism first, then skyballs. Finally, I would focus on mastering beach ball. As a beginner or intermediate Crash Bash speedrunner, it is important to have a strong mastery of ballistics levels. Not only should you never fail, but you should be getting reasonably fast times. As you get better at any percent, ballistics RNG becomes more important, so it is good to have a strong foundation built around each level type. Even I continue to practice beach ball to this day, despite having sped run bash for over 7 months. I hope you found the tips and info in this video helpful. I am trying to grow as a content creator, so please subscribe and like. Comment if you have any questions about ballistics levels that I did not answer in this video. 
This was Logic PQ. Thanks for watching.